Okay, our backdrop looks a little different today. Obviously, we are braving the elements for a special guest. Yes, we are. Our friend, Mike Condill, is here to tell us all about some really exciting things happening in the auto industry right here in Huntsville. So why are you in town? I know, so right, we've been talking about me coming on air with you guys for like the last five years. <laughs> yeah. Like leading, leading into COVID, it's like, hey, when are you coming to Huntsville? And now it's like, I'm finally here. Right. And yeah, I was in town yesterday checking out a uh, new Polaris Ranger. It's all electric. So Huntsville's like this new Mecca. In fact, I, was, I stayed downtown last night. What is going on with this city? I know. It is changing so fast. Your news station is better than almost every other news station I go to. Okay, it's well, epic here. I know, thank right? You. So, yeah, the auto industry is booming right now. You've got a manufacturing facility from Mazda down here. Polaris is down here. And what you're starting to see is that although this is Rocket City, like the auto industry is taking notice. And so they're moving here. And it's just a sign that your economy, despite what's happening with inflation and interest rates, Huntsville's on fire right now. Not literally, but it is an amazing place to be. Oh, well, thank you. I know, right? We love it when people that are from other parts of the I country know. come here and say that. I know. Okay, so we have some very cool things behind us. Tell yeah. us about these vehicles. Yeah, so I brought two trucks to you today, and you know, in the future, we'll bring some other vehicles. But you know what you're seeing in the marketplace right now? Ford Motor Company with the F-150, 48 years is America's best-selling vehicle, right? They sell millions of these. But what consumers are looking for is they're looking for smaller trucks in the market as well, right? There's so much focus on electric that I wanted to start with two gas vehicles. So this right here, this is a Chevy Colorado, and this is a small entry-level truck. It's the Z71. It's an off-road package, so if you want to go up to Smith Lake, you've got 7,000 pounds of towing capacity with this. Wow, very nice. And on the inside, I'll come around and show you guys the inside. It's all new for this year. So on the inside, you have two digital big clusters on the inside of this. You've got leather seats. You've got like the accoutrement that you want in a vehicle. <laughs> right. So whether you're towing or you want to go over to Home Depot or Lowe's and load up with wood, you have enough with this truck right here. Now it's the price. We're in Huntsville. I like to think about keeping price at a reasonable rate. You're looking at under $30,000 for this truck. Right wow. Here. You gotta love all the tech it's inside all these about new cars. Tech, right? Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, dual digital screens, and all the safety technology that you want in a vehicle. And then this one, you were just talking about this vehicle being like a little bit smaller. Yeah. This one, I feel like I would be comfortable it's, driving this. <laughs> it's even smaller, and I love this. I've spent about two weeks in this right now. This is the Ford Maverick, and this is their entry-level truck. Starts under $23,000. Wow. It's so affordable, but it's all about functionality with this truck right here. So you get the same thing apple carplay android auto you get all kinds of great safety technology in this but it's all about that size right mm -hmm. now this one is the tremor package so both the tremor and the z71 from chevy it's all about kind of a higher suspension mm -hmm. more aggressive tires ability to go off road you can only tow 2,000 pounds with this okay but again it's about keeping it small fitting it in your garage making it a truck but still kind of on that that passenger car platform yeah absolutely still definitely if you need to pull a trailer with some stuff that you're, you know, carrying around. You could definitely do that with it. Okay, so let's talk about the inside of this one also. Yeah, so as we make our way to the inside, it's all about functionality. You're going to see rubber mats on the floor. That mm -hmm. comes with the Tremor package. That's, you know, today it's raining, right? You don't mm -hmm. want to jump in with muddy shoes on a carpet floor. You get leather seats. They're dual stitched, and I love the dual stitching because even affordable vehicles now can take on some of the accents of luxury vehicles. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. dual stitch with the seats, the Tremor logo here. And then, of course, you have a ton of functionality here in the middle. You have a performance package on this so you can actually shift this into all-wheel drive four-wheel drive you have that ability with this mm -hmm. the best part is 50 miles per gallon it's a mild hybrid wow so you get great mpg with this as well and then you think about that starting price under twenty three thousand mm -hmm. dollars it's super affordable for people in the marketplace wow and when you think about a truck i would never think like 50 miles to the gallon that's yeah. incredible yeah and so that's what you're seeing is that even though we're talking a lot about electric vehicles right now in the market even gas vehicles great get great fuel economy. And that's where we're trying to go with it in the industry right now. I understand electric is part of the future, but consumers don't know what it's all about yet. Like, what does electric mean? And so if they can get their arms around at least the high MPG vehicles, then they're going to they're gonna have their cake and eat it too. It's going to be a great uh, opportunity for consumers to own vehicles that you get great fuel economy, great gas mileage, but you also get a great price. That is awesome. Okay, Lauren, which one of these would you I want think, to take home? I like this one. I feel like I can just hop in and Me go. Too. I'm not intimidated it. by yep. the sleek design. But I mean, I mean, if I ever need to tow 7,000 right? pounds. Yeah. You get your boat, Right girl. here. <laughs> <laughs> both fit in your garage, right? Yep. Both fit yeah. in your garage. These and that's are the wonderful. best part about it. Awesome, right. Mike. Thank you so much for joining us. These are great. We High look forward five. to having no you rain. back. No rain. You've been yeah. talking rain all morning. Come back sooner Perfect next time. We're not waiting another five years for you. Stay for a week and we'll have sun. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly.
All right, we'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 